Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest. Well today is a follow-up video on the OpenSUSE Tumbleweed install with KDE. So far I've been extremely pleased with the OS. It's been fluid. The updates have been absolutely fine through Discover. And I promised you in the first video that I would cover a few other things about OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. So that will primarily be what this video is about. So I did a fresh install on my laptop because I wanted you to see what you would see upon a fresh install of OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, in this case the Plasma Desktop. You'll be greeted with a welcome screen, quick access to README documentation and get software, as well as support over on the right hand side here. So we'll go ahead and close that up and I'm going to uncheck show on next startup. The other thing you're going to get is within Discover you'll get roughly 550 or 555 in my case uh, package updates. One of the things that got brought up in the last video was uh, basically some of the viewers pointing out some of the other install options with OpenSUSE. So I wanted to go ahead and cover those. You do have a DVD image, which is what I used here. It's a whopping 4.3 gigabyte, but you've got another option, which would be a network image at, at a measly 138 megabyte. And so you could do your ISO there and then do a network install. Um, you know, that's going to vary as far as your uh, install speed because you're pulling down the installation files and everything online. And then one other option would be a live uh, drive, if you will, and you could, you know, go with the GNOME Desktop, KDE, or XFCE. In this case, um, between 839 and 946 megabyte. Uh, it is not recommended, however, that you upgrade or use this to install Tumbleweed. Uh, but these are options that are available, so I wanted to point that out to you. And while we're here, let's go ahead and pop over and just talk about uh, some of the additional repositories which you're going to probably want and the main one that I want to talk about here is Pac-Man. Uh, so Pac-Man is going to offer additional packages basically for multimedia so your uh, your codecs things like that uh, audio and video codecs as well as additional software like VLC uh, under multimedia, it's going to have additional multimedia files. And then under extra, you're going to have non-multimedia related applications, mostly network related, and then additional games that are not in the standard OpenSUSE repositories. So um, I'll have links to all of these pages so area here. And this is, I want to just point this out. If you're coming from an older version of Tumbleweed, you could do an update with Zipper Dupe. So it's basically shorthand for Zipper Distribution Upgrade. And that would allow you to say, come from you know something that's eight, nine months old and upgrade to the latest in OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Now, as far as updates are concerned, I've done multiple updates on my main through Discover with zero issues. Um, I've not even, I don't think, had any failures within any upgrades. So I do want to point out the software.opensusa.org page. And from here, you can search for packages and choose, in this case, Tumbleweed. And let's say we wanted to search for VLC. And what you'll find are various listings. We're going to go into the main VLC here. And then from here, you can choose direct install. Now, we've told it up here that we want to search for only tumble, tumbleweed uh, packages. And this is a really uh, direct, quick, and easy way to get your software set up. Now, I've already got um, VLC set up and installed, so I'm not going to reinstall it. But you'll see here, you will choose to install that via YAST, and it just plainly works. Now every now and then you'll find that there's a repository or something that will not, um, for whatever reason, it will not install and it will prevent you from installing the package. But for the most part, this is a nice, quick, easy way. And this is something that sets uh, OpenSUSE apart from other distribution. And well, just like that, I had a corrupt part of my video, and so the last 15 or so minutes of the video, uh, unfortunately, is lost. Um, I think 
maybe that's happened one other time, but I went back and recorded everything. Anyway, for the sake of time, I just wanted to sum up this video by saying that OpenSUSE Tumbleweed has been a joy to use. Uh, it's been stable, and it's felt like I finally achieved what I couldn't achieve in the late 90s and early 2000s with a full install where everything just works. And that's pretty much OpenSUSE Tumbleweed today. Now, I'll add to that that OpenSUSE Tumbleweed sets itself apart from your common Ubuntu-based distros, and even Arch in some ways, with the way it handles packages, uh, in this case RPM, and the multiple sources of um, ways to install those packages, especially if you have KDE Plasma installed. So you can do that through YAST software, you can do that through Discover, you can do that through the website and, uh, and easily access pretty much everything you need. Also with uh, FlatHub within Discover. The updates through Discover apply just fine. Never really had any major issues or anything like that. So again, I could use this every day without any issue. I feel like it's very stable. It's felt like that since you know day one of install. And um, you know what I'm probably going to do this evening is uh, wipe this on my main and go back to KDE Neon. Not because I dislike OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, simply because I'm a distro hopper and uh, there's been a recent update through Plasma within Neon, which fixed a lot of things, including the applied font bug that was in place. So I want to find that uh, or use that uh, point one release. So uh, we'll wrap this one up. Sorry for the glitch in the video. I had a little more to talk about at any rate. We'll go ahead and wrap this one up and hope you've enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching.